Hey everybody, Q Paul here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going off on a rant a little bit. I'm going to be talking about a certain Spanish construction that is constantly taught in a particular way, but I've never heard a native Spanish speaker ever use it in that way. Ever. And keep in mind, I have spoken Spanish for a very long time. I've traveled throughout the Spanish-speaking world. I married a Colombian. I lived in a Spanish-speaking country for many years and never heard it. Here it is, folks. And I know you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when you hear it. Using me gustaría to order in a restaurant. For example, me gustaría una hamburguesa. I would like a hamburger. Obviously, me gustaría is Spanish. But this usage to use it in a restaurant, I've never heard a native Spanish speaker do this ever. Not a single time. Now, I will hear it from non-native speakers. In fact, non-native speakers whose first language is English, they love this one. Me gustaría el pulpo y una margarita, por favor. Never heard a native Spanish speaker do it. The reason many English speakers will do it when speaking Spanish is because it is a very literal translation from English. In English, that's how we order a lot of times. I would like. I would like the steak. I would like the salad. So we're just literally translated. Me gustaría la carne. Me gustaría la ensalada. But that doesn't translate literally over into Spanish. That's a difficult part about learning another language, is to get away from literal translations, especially when you're talking about culture and what's considered polite or what's considered the custom, you know, say in this case, when ordering at a restaurant. Because I'm going to tell you, it is not saying me gustaría and asking for the food item. It just isn't. I have no idea why they keep teaching this. For you folks who are learning Spanish, you might be a little dismayed or upset to hear me say this because chances are you've been ordering this way. You've been saying, me gustaría some food item at a restaurant. And you've gotten the food item. But next time you do that, if you're in a Spanish-speaking country particularly, listen. Are you hearing it anywhere else? All right. I'm going to help you break out of this. Let's try to segue into something that sounds more natural, all right? Some common ways you will hear native speakers ask for something is um, not to use the conditional tense, which is what me gustaría is, but actually to use the present tense, but to put it in the question form. That makes it sound, you know, less harsh, less like an order. So you will hear people order a salad like, me da una ensalada, or me trae una ensalada. That's in the formal. You may hear these in the informal. Me das una ensalada. Me traes una ensalada. Again, they're still phrased basically the same. Dar means to give. Traer means to bring. Literally translating these, again, they would sound odd. It'd be like, you give me a salad? You bring me a salad? In English, it wouldn't make any sense. That's why I guess we have trouble you know, wrapping our heads around it. But it's not helping the situation that these books and videos are somehow putting this up as an option. Because, you know, us native English speakers are like, I like that me gustaría one. Another way that people commonly order is just with quiero, I want. Quiero una ensalada y una chuleta de cerdo. I want a salad and a pork chop. That's it. Now, I know that sounds a little harsh in English, but we're not speaking English, folks, all right? Another option is to not use a verb at all. They come around to you, look at the menu, and you're just like, um, tres tacos de cerdo. Or you could preface it with, para mí. Para mí, tres tacos de cerdo. For me, three pork tacos. All right? It's that easy. I think this video's turned more into like a Spanish intervention. Because I already know some people are looking at this Goes, Paul's up. He's wrong. He's, he's got to be wrong about this. You're in that denial phase. Or maybe you moved on to anger. Paul's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not going to listen to that. But eventually, as you get better in Spanish and you start listening to people, whose first language and only language is Spanish, you're going to realize, oh, crap. They're not saying me gustaría in that way. And that's when acceptance comes, folks. Acceptance. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to know what you think about the topic in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hasta luego.